Asu strike ahead of Numi Industrial Action. The National Association of Nigeria Students sent strong message to federal government. Ask them to do this. So, my people, my people, we all know say recently, Asu, they don't send message to federal government. Say they go go on strike oh, because of some of the things where be say government is supposed to respond to them before now and up to now Genova fin answer them oh. So my people, my people, make on account here waiting the National Association of the Nigeria Students. They come they talk oh. You can't see say they can't urge the federal government. Say make it engage in discussions with the leadership of the academic staff union of universities concerning the recent threats of a strike. Oh, the student body they can't emphasize that a strike will be e time and not advisable. At this moment, so in a report by the Punch newspaper, it was stated that the Nigeria student, that is the Senate president, will be the person of Akiteye Baba today. He can't reveal this in an interview with their correspondent in Abuja. Following a new 14 day automator issued by ASU that on Wednesday, due to the stalled negotiations of the federal government, he can say that they asked the federal government to make a meet with ASU and made a discuss with them because ASU strike at this point in time is not advisable. Asus 14 day ultimatum to the federal government can highlight several unresolved issues that have been a source of tension between both parties for years. Ago. Central to Asus demand is the renegotiation of the 2009 FGN slash Asus. Agreement. This agreement, which aims to address the welfare, working condition, funding of public universities, has been revisited. That means so, revisited multiple times, but remains unresolved. You can't see, say, the Nimi Briggs Committee's draft agreement. Of 2021 provided a framework for a resolution that also insists on its full implementation. One of the key core points of contention is the release of salaries with aid during the 2022 strike action. You can see, said the federal government had implemented a no work no pay policy during the strike which led to months of unpaid salaries for academic staff asu has continued to push for this salary so to be released arguing that the strike was in pursuit of legitimate demands and should not result in financial penalties for its members. Moreover, the union, they can they call for the payment of salaries for staff on sabbatical, part-time, and adjunct appointments who have been negatively impacted by the integrated payroll and personnel information system. This system introduced to combat payroll fraud.
has been criticized by ASU for its inefficiencies and the exclusion of certain categories of staff from payment to the issue of outstanding third party deductions such as check of dues and cooperative contributions which were not remitted during the strike also forms part of ASU's demand. In addition to these immediate concerns, ASU is advocating for long-term funding for the revitalization of public universities. So, despite promises made by the government, this funding has been inconsistent, leaving many institutions underfunded and unable to meet basic infrastructural and academic needs. So ASU can they seek for the full disbursement of funds already partially captured in the 2023 federal government budget as well as the release of end academic allowances EAA, which are also part of the budget, but have not yet been paid in full law. In addition, concerns raised by ASU can include the unchecked pro liberation of universities by both federal and state governments, the no implementation of the reports from university visitation panels, the illegal dissolution of governing councils, and the demand for the university transparency and accountability solution, UTAS, to replace IPPIS. In a statement released that on Wednesday, you can see say, ASU president will be Professor Emmanuel Osedeke. He can express frustration over the government's lack of commitment and reliance on delay tactics, warning that such actions will exacerbate the crisis in the public university system. The union. Confoda noted that it had consulted with various stakeholders and appealed to where many Nigerians to pressure the government into addressing this pressing issue. So, Asu the Con submitted that in view of the foregoing, Asu resolved to give the government that is another 14 days. In addition to the earlier 21 days, beginning from Monday, will be 23rd September 2024, during which all the legal issues must have been concretely addressed to the satisfaction of the membership of the union. So, guys, of a true to this issue, no be what is supposed to see their ground. By now, because we not said before now, the ASU, they don't see, remind the government of their demands so, and the government don't see promise to answer them. But why be say, up to now, he never see answer them. If ASU go on strike, now the ordinary citizens, now they go suffer Ramo, because these are our leaders, most of their children, if not all self, they're not dead this university. Oh. Now I make you see, say, our government knock on the shake body to answer these people. So, my people, I end up the matter here. Oh. This is Nablis channel. I bet make on not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.